guys and welcome back to my channel Bami by Fashion 70s edition. I still have a couple more looks to do so this is probably going to go on into July and then I'm going to take a break and do just the like regular stuff. But yeah, let's let's start with the shirt. So we're going to wear a shirt that fits us well and we're going to mark how high we want the halter to be. Then we're going to mark the side which is going to be the armhole there and then we're going to also mark the bottom hem with pins. Make a note of how loose or tight the shirt fits while on so you know how to adjust your pattern when you draw it. Mark there, mark here, mark it going up like that. And this is what I came up with when it's done. I made this line straight half inch, and this is where you marked underarm, and then I just went straight across like that. This is the original line going down here. This is half inch going in because I want it to at the bottom. And then just get straight across. I think I want this a little lower. We're going to add a quarter inch hair because this will be our back seam. An inch hair like this. Then we're going to fold it on this one. Now we're not going to have any seam allowance for here or there. We're going to have seam allowance here. So I'm going to do a quarter inch seam allowance. And we don't need seam allowance at the bottom either. So now that we have that done, we're going to cut it out. This is the front of the shirt. So we're going to cut it on this first line that we initially did. So this is the front of the shirt here. So now the back, we don't need all of that extra part, so we're just going to Fold it exactly to where that line was. I want the back to be a little lower than the front, so I'm just going to bring it down. So one, two, three, four inches high. Bring it down four inches like this. Square that off by like an inch. And we're squaring it because if you just brought it from here, going straight up, it's gonna have a V at the back. So we're gonna just square it like that. And then we're gonna smooth it into here, like this. So you start like that, and then just like smooth it in, right? All right, add our quarter inch seam allowance here. So we're just gonna keep that line there. And this is the back of our shirt. You don't need any seam allowance at the top because we're gonna add bind into it. So we're going to cut out the pattern pieces onto the fabric and then we are going to pin the side seams together with the right side facing. I didn't want so much of a curve on my neckline so I adjusted it and just straightened out and then I did the same thing to the pattern piece, the future like notes or whatever. Okay, so we place the back on the front right side facing and then we're going to sew the side seams. So that's the back going on the front, we're going to pin it, and then we're going to sew these side seams. And this is it sewn. Um, we're going to use the one and a half wide strips that we cut with our contrasted fabric and starting at the neckline and with the round side facing up, make sure the round side is facing up, we are going to pin the strip along the top and sew a little less than three eighths of an inch away from the edge. So this is it. Stitch. We're going to fold this in like this. So this meets Ready. this top part here. Your time will come. Then we're going to fold this over this. here. This is it. A... 
and this is how it should look. So now with the round side facing up again, we're going to do the same stitch for the back edge of the halter. We're going to start at the back edge at the top and then we're going to go all the way to the neckline. We're going to do the stitch that we did at the neckline a little less than 3 eighths of an inch and I stretched it a little bit while I did the stitch so it has like a little bit of stretch while I have it on. Now fold over like we did before with the neckline and top stitch. So we're going to do what we did before which is fold here like that. And then we're going to fold it again over. When we get to the straps, we're just going to fold both edges inwards to meet the middle and then we're going to fold it again. You're going to see what I'm doing very shortly. So I'm folding both edges inwards and then I'm pinning. Fold it inwards and then pin. And then we're gonna, when we stitch it, do the top stitch, it's gonna go all the way to the end of the next strap. So this is it sewn and now we're going to do the same thing that we just did to the bottom of our shirt. So when we do the bottom of the shirt, now we're just going to sew the center back seam shut and do like a double stitch. And then you're just going to knot the ends of your neck straps and then you're done with the shirt. Okay, so we're going to start out with a pair of stretchy shorts that fit well. I folded the pants so that the back is on the inside and the front is on the outside. So now I'm just tracing around all around the front of the pants as shown. Now I'll do the same thing for the back of the pants. Notice how I'm holding down the fabric with one hand and tracing it with the other hand. This is so that the pants doesn't move around while we're tracing it. After tracing out the back of the pants, we're going to go back to the front of the pants. And at the top, by the waist, I'm adding one and a quarter of an inch to make it a little high waisted. Then I extended the side seam and the center front to match that line. Now we're going to add our seam allowance to the center front line as well as the crutch line. At the bottom of the side seam, we're going to draw a curve which is what will give us that dolphin hem look. Going back to the top of the front of the shirt, I went up the width of my elastic and then added seam allowance onto that line. This new measurement allows us to fold the fabric inwards over the elastic for the waistband. Sorry that you can't see what I'm doing there, you're going to see it in a second. Okay, now don't cut out the pattern just yet. At this point, we're going to fold the seam allowance line and the phone line as shown and then cut out the pattern. So here I am folding the seam allowance in and the 
waist part is already folded already and now we're going to cut it out. Now right up for information and do the same thing we did for the front to the back of the pants. So these are our pants patterns. So now we're gonna cut out two pieces per pattern from our fabric. Make sure your center front and back lines are lined up at a 90 degree angle with the stretchiness of the fabric. Let's cut out with the right sides facing so both the front center seams together and then the back center seams together. After that is done, we're going to place the front onto the back with right sides facing and then we're going to stitch the cut seam, which is the little seam there at the bottom. Now that is done, we're going to start doing the binding for the side seams of the pants. It's pretty much going to be the same thing that we did for the top part of the set. So we are going to, with the round sides up, we're going to place the binding on the edge as shown and stitch 3 eighths, a little less than 3 eighths of an inch away from the edge. And when you get to the curves or like the, the bottom part, the hem of the pants, you can stretch it a little so it fits a little tighter on your thighs. This is the binding all sewed up so you see how it goes there. Now at this point you should try it on to make sure it fits at the side seam. Just pin it and then try it on to see how much you need to overlap. To be honest, you don't even have to do the ringer part, this part all the way up. You can actually stop like here. What I'm doing right now is overlapping the front over the back of the pants and pinning. So it's pretty much, you can see right there, just like overlapping it. When both sides are pinned, I'm just making sure the curves stop at the same point on each side of the pants. To stitch the side seams, we're doing a top stitch along the original stitch that we did on the binding, as shown. And here it is done. Now we are going to add the elastic. So the elastic should be the length of the top part of where your pants sits so like your waist that will be my waist so I'm going to stitch the elastic shut and then I'm going to place it on the inside of the top part of the pants fold it over and top stitch you're going to see right now This one is going to be a little thick, so I'm just going to fold it straight down because this part with all the binding, it's going to be super thick. So I'm just going to fold it down once. So now with the right side facing up, I'm going to top stitch all along the waistband. I prefer to do it from the outside so I can see how neat it looks than doing it from the inside. And our pants are done! So here it is with the halter top. And look how super cute that is. Oh my gosh, I would wear this out if I didn't have so much cellulite, but whatever. Bye!